Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super fun. I'm going to be trying out the new L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour Fresh Wear Foundation Powder. And I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side wear test through the day next to the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation Powder. You guys missed my video on this. I do have a full um, review and wear test on the Fenty Foundation Powder. I'll put that up in the little eye thingy up here. Um, but this is actually my favorite foundation right now. I am obsessed with this foundation powder so I really wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison next to this because I heard a lot of good things about this uh, L'Oreal powder so far so I think this came out like maybe a, I don't know when this came out honestly I think it's new new-ish um, <laughs> so I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison so let me give you guys some information about the L'Oreal one I'll talk more about the Fenty one in that video so if you want to know like more in-depth info on that one go watch that video so um the l'oreal one says it demands more from long wear infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder covers like a liquid and mattifies with no cakey look this powder texture gives full coverage with a natural matte finish that looks fresh hour after hour this formula feels breathable and weightless leaving skin feeling comfortable for up to 24 hours with a blurring effect and all day matte finish this powder even um, even skin tone with no transfer. It's waterproof, heatproof, sweatproof, and it says it's good for all skin types, even oily skin and acne-prone skin. It's non-comedogenic with a no greasy feel. The only thing is, is there's only 16 shades of this, which, uh, yeah, I got mine at Target. I got it online. It was $11.99, but I think the price varies just kind of like wherever you get it. Um, but when I was looking at like the shade range, there's not a lot of shades. 16 shades is literally like nothing. Um, so whereas the Fenty one is 50 shades, it comes in 50 shades. Um, so that's obviously like right there. This one obviously has more shades. Um, this one is $36, I think. This one, I don't believe it's like a medium to full coverage because I can definitely get medium coverage with this powder, but it definitely has good coverage. But um, this one is marketed as like a full coverage type of situation. I ended up getting the shade Linen just because this is the shade that I am in their liquid um, fresh wear foundation. So I was like, let me just get this one. Um, I got this like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to film with it yet. And I think they're sold out on the Target website. Yeah, it's sold out on the Target website right now. They're literally like all sold out. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know when I bought this, I guess I got lucky because it was in stock. Let me try this out and I'm gonna be trying it side by side so I'm gonna put one side with the Fenty one and one side with the L'Oreal one. I'm gonna do the L'Oreal one on this side just because I have a breakout right here and right here. It's not like super noticeable but I can kind of see it so I feel like I could probably kind of test that out and I already know how this one works. I will say that the Fenty one might look a little bit darker because I still haven't gotten like my actual shade in this foundation yet. Um, when I did my video it matched. It's just a little warm. Um, so like when I'm out in the sun, it looks kind of noticeable since I don't go anywhere. I don't really care. I literally only use this right now for like when I get ready and film and take pictures and stuff. But um, yeah, I have the shade 180 in this. Oh, they're both 180. Wow. <laughs> this is 180 linen. This is 180 in the Fenty. I'm normally 190 in Fenty's liquid foundations. So I got 180 in this one and it is still kind of warm. I just didn't want to return it after using it and stuff and just be wasteful and not too bad where like I need to return it instantly. So I'm just going to try to go through it and then I'll get a new one once I finish this one. Um, cause I don't want to like go and return it and then it's just wasteful like that you know it's not that big of a deal I love that foundation so much if you guys saw my video I was shook when I first tried it so um I'll put some other um shade references down below if you guys need them if you guys are kind of like the same skin tone as me the L'Oreal one is a little bit lighter I feel like the L'Oreal one has a scent which I don't really like um uh, yeah it has like a little bit of a scent, like a florally scent. Um, but the L'Oreal one also has a mirror on the inside and a little sponge. You have normal to dry skin. My skin right now feels pretty normal. Um, but I did already prep my skin with my Fenty Skin uh, Hydrovisor Moisturizer. And I'm going to go ahead and prime with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh 
primer. This is the primer that I use all the time. And that the Fenty one, even though it is like a powder, it does not feel like a powder or look like a powder on my skin at all. That's why I really, really like it. So I hope that this one is kind of the same. I forgot to go clean and wet my sponge really quick. So I'm going to do that and um, I'm going to apply concealer while I do that as well. I always apply the um, concealer before I go in with the powder. I'm just going to use the Fenty 190 um, concealer. Do that really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and put concealer just under my eyes. I didn't put it anywhere else. Before I go in with the foundation, I'm just going to set my under eyes um, with the Fenty uh, Pro Filter setting powder. I do this because I don't know if the actual foundation powder will be a little bit darker than my under eyes and stuff. I do like to keep my under eyes brighter, so I'm going to start off with the L'Oreal one first just so you guys can see like the side by side, um, and then I'll go in with the Fenty one on this side. The Fenty powder, I use the Fenty 125 brush, so I try to pick something a little bit similar. This one's like not as dense though. I don't have anything like kind of similar. Plus it's like this brush. Actually... I might try this one. This one's a little bit more dense. This is an It Cosmetics uh, Skin Smoothing Complexion number 704 brush. I'm gonna start right here. Okay, looks like a good match. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see right here, there's like a breakout and it's kind of red. It's a good test day for this. So I'm gonna go over that little spot really quick. Oh wow, that covered that covered really, really nicely. I'll say like I think depending on what kind of brush you use, you'll definitely be able to like change the coverage. I don't think I'm getting like full, full coverage right away. I have some redness right there. Wow. I'm gonna take this on my nose. Sorry if you guys can hear Gigi, she's I don't know what she's doing. It looks so nice. Well, I would definitely say that this is like pretty, like almost full coverage. It's not like super, super full, which is nice because I don't really like full coverage like that. So far, I really, really like how this looks. It definitely doesn't look like a, like a liquid foundation where it kind of like meshes into your skin. It does kind of look a little powdery, whereas I know the Fenty one does not look like that. So that's kind of a thing I noticed right away. Here's a little side by side of... Ow. Here's the L'Oreal one. Here's my bare skin. I think it looks pretty good and I think the shade match is actually really, really nice. I wear linen in the Freshwear foundation and I think this is pretty much like an exact match to that. So um, I don't know if they're like synced up to like the other foundations and stuff. Let's go ahead and go in with Fenty on this side. Like I said, I already know there's going to be a very obvious shade difference. Please just ignore it for the sake of the video. See, the thing about the Fenty one that I really like is that it truly kind of just like melts into your skin. It really doesn't look like a powder on the skin at all, which I absolutely love. Yeah, you can definitely see that the Fenty one is a lot warmer. Um, just gonna bring that down a little bit. There's the Fenty one on, and to be honest, like from far, it really doesn't look that different. Up close, honestly, up close, they kind of look the same too. Um, I feel like the when I first applied the uh, L'Oreal one, it looked a little powdery, but I feel like it's already kind of melting into the skin. So it does melt into the skin, but it does take a little bit longer. Whereas this one, I feel like instantly, like right when I swipe on the Fenty one, it's like instantly melted into my skin. But this one that does now, um, so I think it just takes a little bit more time to kind of like warm up to the skin. Coverage wise, I think they're pretty similar. Um, I don't feel like I got like full, like full, full coverage from the L'Oreal one because I could definitely still see like my freckles and stuff on my cheek right here. Let me see if I take the sponge and see if that like will cover it. Taking a little bit on the sponge. Oh, just doing that, that definitely covered like my little freckles. So um, I think just depending on like what you use to apply it, like if you were to use the sponge, it would definitely give you 
more coverage. And same with the Fenty one. I just, I personally just don't like full coverage. Doing it with the sponge like that definitely um, covered a lot. I'll put a little clip right here of a close-up with my phone because my phone does shoot better than my camera, but I think both sides look really good. I already know I like the Fenty one, so just comparing it side by side, I think that this one looks really pretty. It almost kind of just makes my skin look really smooth, and I definitely think that it, in the description of the L'Oreal one, it says it kind of gives like a blurring effect, and I do agree. I think it looks kind of blurred. It looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. We'll see how it looks after everything's applied. For time reference, because I am gonna be doing a wear test, first um, application is at 1.35. I don't know if you guys can see the time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish with the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. I just finished doing the rest of my makeup and my makeup looks so good right now. I'm like a little shook. Um, right now it is 2.10. 40 minutes now that I've had this on and I think it looks really, really good. I will say something I did notice is actually my pores look a little bit more visible on the Fenty side than on the L'Oreal side. Um, yeah, that is some, it's like very, very subtle and like honestly it's, I don't have very noticeable pores to begin with, but like when I'm looking in like a magnified mirror, it's something that I can see a little bit. That is something I noticed, but other than that, I feel like they honestly look pretty similar. Definitely melted into the skin a little bit more after time. Put a little clip right here up close with the rest of my makeup done now so you guys can see that little close up, but I really like it and like side by side, um, I feel like they look really similar. So we'll definitely see if there's any differences through the day. I'll check in with you guys um, in a little while, but so far I really, really like it. I'm not doing anything today, so I don't know how crazy this like wear test is gonna be. It's so hard doing wear tests now when like we're not doing anything at all. See how it looks. Um, I'll check in with you guys probably around like the four hour mark, hopefully. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so right now it is 5.40, so I've had this on for like four hours now. I'm glad I actually got like a midway check-in time. I'm always like super late, like I always forget to like record one. But here is a little midday check-in. Um, I think honestly, they both look pretty similar. I think it looks really good. Here's a little close-up. So this is the Fenty side and this one is the L'Oreal side. I think they honestly look the same. I truly cannot tell. This looks, my door's like open. Um, I truly can't really tell a difference. I think they both look really good. It hasn't gotten like shiny or anything like overly shiny. This is probably just like highlighter. I have highlighter on on this side. So I also haven't done anything really today. I only took some pictures and um, I was taking some pictures for our, my new Instagram account that I just started. If you guys want to go follow it, it's my Funko Instagram um, for my pop collection. So I started that Instagram today. So if you guys like pops and things, go follow that account. This little midday check-in. I think it still looks really good. It honestly looks the same as it did earlier. Not much has changed. So I think it looks really good. I mean, I already know, like I said, I know the Fenty one always, like I already know how that one works, but the L'Oreal one, I think it looks really good. Check in with you guys at the end of the day, probably around like 9.30ish. So I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is 9.30. I don't know if you guys can see the time. So I've had this on for pretty much exactly eight hours. And I have to say, I think that they look pretty similar. I don't know if you guys can really tell. I think a little bit when I smile, this side is a little bit more shinier than the Fenty side. And I don't have oily skin. I have dry to normal skin. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I usually do get shiny in this area. But this one definitely, I feel like just looking at the viewfinder, this side looks a little bit like just a tad bit more shinier. Honestly, they look almost exactly the same. It's kind of crazy. Honestly, so similar. So I definitely do think that this is a dupe for the Fenty powder. I really, really like it. I didn't notice this side oxidizing or anything like that. The L'Oreal one, I don't notice that at all. Um, and yeah, um, I've mentioned this in other foundation reviews and wear tests. The mouth area is usually my problem area and I'm not noticing anything crazy um with it that didn't like get gross around like my chin which is a very good sign that if it doesn't do that then it actually is a very good foundation um i think now after wearing it over time even earlier when i noticed um 
it did really like melt into the skin and it really doesn't look like a powder foundation at all anymore. This is honestly really good and I'm super super impressed with it. The color match was really good as well. Um, like I said, I did just base it off of my Freshwear foundation shade. I don't know if all of the shades in the powder are like have the same names as the Freshwear. I just know that that one that I happened to use um, did. So like I said, I've, I've been wearing the Fenty foundation powder uh, pretty much almost every single time I've done my makeup except for like a couple times ever since it came out and I love the foundation powder. I think it is so nice and like I said, this is definitely a huge dupe for it. I really do think that it is very, very similar. So, um, the only downside is that this foundation powder, it does not have a good shade range. It only has 16 shades and a lot of them are very white, beige, my skin tone basically. I haven't been to like the store or anything. Like I haven't been to Target or um, anywhere. <laughs> Literally I have not been inside a store so I don't know like I haven't seen like the shade range laid out or anything but just looking on the L'Oreal website it does not look good. 12 shades of beige and some like medium tan shades, a darker shade, and then like the deep shade. Hopefully they extend the shade range because I feel like in other foundations that they have, especially like True Match and I believe the Freshwear foundation as well all have bigger shade ranges. So I don't know why they wouldn't do that for the powder, but I hope they do eventually extend it because I do think that this is actually a very good foundation powder and a very good dupe for the Fenty one. This difference is obviously a very big gap. This is between 12 and 15 dollars, whereas the Fenty one is 36. Honestly, I don't even think that like I can really tell a difference besides this side being like a tad bit shinier. That is my review on the foundation powder. I do like it. I do think it is definitely worth it. And if you can find it um, in your shade right now, I definitely would pick it up. I do like the Fenty one just a little bit more, um, obviously for obvious reasons, the shade range um, and things like that. I do think that this one does last a very long time. I've had this one on for I think up to like 15 hours at one point and it does last all day long. I would personally recommend the Fenty one because it does have a way bigger shade range and you could probably find a shade for you um, in that one more so than like the L'Oreal one. But if you don't want to splurge on the Fenty one and you can find your shade in the L'Oreal one, then I definitely would recommend the L'Oreal one as well. Or if you're like me and you don't like to wear the exact same foundation all the time and you already have the Fenty one and you do want like a, maybe a cheaper option, um, maybe you have this one and you don't want to wear it all the time because it is more pricey and you don't want to go through it as fast, this would be a good like other foundation to wear more so on like an everyday basis or something like that. See if you go through this one faster, it's not as expensive to have to like repurchase it and stuff, you know? So it's a thing to keep in mind as well. So on the foundation powder tr like train right now, especially because I feel like one, foundation powders are so easy to touch up through the day. It's so much easier than like a liquid foundation, obviously. Also, I feel like powder foundations are so much more mask friendly, um, which is something that we obviously have to keep in mind now. Mask. So I have found that wearing powder foundation has like not transferred as much onto my mask than like a liquid foundation has. So um, I'm super on board for like all the foundation powders. So more the merrier in my opinion right now. So I definitely do like this. So you know if you guys have tried either one of these, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, I love the Fenty one. I think it's still my favorite foundation right now. And I love having another good powder foundation. You know if you guys have tried both and what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think they're the same as well? I'll link um, this down below for you guys if you guys were interested in picking it up. I'll try to see if it's in stock anywhere on Line that you guys can like purchase it. Um, I think it was sold out on Target already, but I'll check again. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.